So what do words like CPM, CTR, C results, reach, impressions, frequency, CPA, uh, think CTR, through plays. So what does all this stuff even mean? Over how to analyze your Facebook ad metrics. If you are new to Facebook ads and you don't even know how to run Facebook ads, you need to watch my other video that is teaching you how to run Facebook ads for beginners. If you know how to run Facebook ads and now you want to understand how to analyze your Facebook ad metrics, this video is for you because we're going to be covering all that right now. What's up? Welcome back. My name's Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button wherever it is because I am putting out videos regularly. In this video, we're going over your Facebook ad metrics and some of the most important Facebook ad metrics that you should be looking at to properly analyze the data that you are paying for. So you're paying for Facebook ads, so you want to at least know what's happening with your money and you're not going to be able to do that unless you understand some key metrics inside the Facebook ad manager. So right now I'm going to hop into my desktop and we are going to cover over, we are going to cover over, we are going to cover some of the most important metrics that you need to know the definitions of in order to be able to make sure that you're spending your money wisely, basically. All right, guys, we're back. Um, and this is the inside of a dead Facebook account. So this is like not active anymore. Um, but I want to quickly hop in here and just show you, first of all, what we're actually looking for when we are looking to not only check out our, our Facebook ad metrics, but how we can actually change the metrics that we are looking at. So this is not like strategy per niche, right? So like if you're running Facebook ads, for beauty salon leads, or if you're running Facebook ads for e-commerce sales, those are different, different metrics are going to mean different things to you. Like something that's important to somebody in the beauty industry getting for local lead generation is different than someone doing e-commerce and they're looking to get purchases. So depending on whatever you're actually running Facebook ads for, you're going to have to decipher based off of these definitions of what these actually mean, what is important to you and what you need to be looking at um, when you're analyzing your Facebook ad data. So first of all, all your metrics for your ads are going to file in in these columns right here. Right, and this is where I'm saying that different things are going to be important to different types of people depending on what you're running your ads for. Um, so it auto fills based off of your Facebook ad accounts, it will auto fill with some metrics up here, and these metrics might be important to you and they might not be. But if you come here and you click up, click down at this column, you'll see that Facebook has some already pre made defaults. Um, um, set up for you so like if you're running like an engagement ad they have pretty good default settings right here um, but you can also take this a step further and you can customize these columns specifically for what you want to see so i'm going to show you how to do that but let's also just look through here um, some of these already these default um, columns that Facebook gives you. Um, they're pretty good, so you can come down here, performance and clicks is pretty good, um, and you can see it shows you a bunch of different stuff here, um, and that's you know really like, I guess you'll see frequency, reach, budget, amount spent. These are pretty good things that you wanna be looking at. Um, if you want to do video engagement, if you're running video ads, this is a really good um, default setting here to check that out. Um, carousel, if you're running carousel ads. Um, but for the most part, if you want to come down here, which you probably will, and actually customize a default of your own, you can come here and press customize columns, and then you can see all the different metrics that your Facebook ads is checking, right? And so I'm going to pull out the ones that are that I think are the most important amongst all niches. Um, and we're gonna go over those here in a second, but again, I'm just showing you um, how you can actually customize this. So you can come over here and you can delete this on this side, right, this, um, and you can come through here and you can put frequency, uh, amount spent, 
cost per click. You can come in here and click whatever you want. Um, and then when you, you can move them around like this. Um, and then when you want to save this, you could come down here and press save preset. And then I type in my name here, Hannah preset. And then we can press apply. So now when you're coming to look at your data, you would just come over here. Um, you scroll to the bottom and you can click on Hannah preset, just like they have all these other presets right here. Um, and so then you don't have to, you know, be going through a bunch of different things here, trying to pull the metrics that you want on your dashboard. Because when you start running Facebook ads, the last thing you want to, like, the, on top of just getting all the data and all the information, the last thing you want to do is like, be like, where is this metric that is actually important to me? Um, so yeah, that's how you set up a preset. Um, now we're just going to hop in over here. And we're going to talk about some of the most important metrics um, for your Facebook ads. These are ones that I specifically like to look at. Um, and I think they're pretty congruent for all niches. And remember, we're talking about the Facebook ad metrics. And we're going to be defining some of these metrics. Um, and those are the ones that you can find down here when you go to customize columns and you can these metrics all can be found in this so let's just talk about some of the basic things that are really important so one of them is impressions an impression is the number of times your ads were seen on the screen and this can be confusing in comparison to reach so reach is the number of people who saw your ads at least once reach is different from impressions which may include multiple views of your video of your ads by by the same people. So your reach is going to be a smaller number than the number of impressions. Okay. Um, so again, let me just show you when you come in here and if you want to customize this, you can type in impressions and impressions is an option here. You can put that to the top. So you can, if you're running Facebook ads, um, say you just want to create brand awareness. Impressions is a good, um, a good metric to look at to see how many times your ad was actually on the screen in comparison to reach was the actual number of people that saw your ad at least once. Um, another metric is the results, the number of times your ad achieved an outcome based on the objective of your settings you selected. So with that, if you're new to Facebook ads, um, one thing that you have to understand, if you don't understand Facebook ads also, I have another full training that's an hour and a half long, but if you do understand Facebook ads, you know how to run Facebook ads, and now you're just trying to understand how to read your data, results is referring to what your Facebook ad is actually optimizing for. So if you know how to run Facebook ads, you know that you can run different types of ads for, that have objectives to do different types of things. So some Facebook ads might be collecting leads, right? As we talked about before, some Facebook ads, their objective is to get purchases. Some Facebook ads is to create brand awareness. So they just want to get, you know, more views on their video to build social proof on a, on a video. Right. And so whatever you're optimizing your ad for, right, if it's a video through play, which is a 15 second video view, that would be considered a result. So that number of that result is going to reflect here. If you're optimizing for purchase, the number of purchases that that Facebook campaign made is going to reflect in the results. So results can mean a number of different things. It's just depending on what you're optimizing your ads for. Now, another thing that is really important that I like to put right behind results is your CPR, which is your cost per result, right? You want to know based off of whatever your objective is, you want to know what it's actually costing you. And if you're split testing amongst your ad sets, you want to know which ad set is going to yield you the cheapest result, right? Because then you want to scale that ad set or put more money on that ad set because it's getting you the your result for the cheapest price. So that is under CPR. Um, another thing that I like to look at is link clicks. This is the number of clicks on the links within the ad that led to the destination or experience on or off Facebook for ads, promoting Instagram profiles, link clicks, uh, pro Profile views, link clicks, include clicks on the ad header or comments that led the app to the advertiser's profile. So I like to look at the amount of link clicks I'm getting. Um, I put underneath that, I 
like to see the unique link clicks. So link clicks could be done by the same person multiple times and it's gonna reflect here. Unique link clicks is the unique number of people who performed a link click. I like to look at link clicks because when I'm running ads, which you probably are too, you're sending them to a destination page. Um, if you're doing lead generation ads, this might not be important to you, but if you're running your Facebook ads and you're sending them to a page off of Facebook, you want to see what it's, how many link click your clicks you're getting followed by cost per link click um, because then you can also discover something called a magic metric which is you know how many link clicks do you have to pay for to get the conversion or get the sale or whatever it is um, so then you can then calculate how much how how much money am i going to put into this ad set to then you know, get the intended result because, you know, after you run ads for, you know, a certain amount of time, say every 100, you know, link clicks you get that leads to one sale and you have a 1% conversion rate, you then can say, okay, 100 link clicks, how much does that cost me? It cost me $5 for 100 link clicks. Great. That 100 link clicks on average gives me one sale. That's a 1% conversion rate. That means that I know if I'm going to put $5 in, I'm going to get XYZ money out. It's kind of like crazy and like it's kind of like an ATM, right? <laughs> Not an ATM. That is a bad example, but it's like you will know, okay, if based off of this sample of this data that I've collected, you know, historically, this amount of link clicks leads to this many sales. Okay, how much does that cost me? Okay, that means I'm gonna put in X, Y, Z amount of money and I'm with the hopes um, of gonna get X, Y, Z amount back. All right, so I also like to look at CPC per unique. So I just like to compare the two. So again, it's the same idea with the link clicks versus the unique link clicks. CPC per unique is the unique amount of people that are clicking the link and how much that's costing me. Frequency is something else that I like to look at. Um, it's, it is the amount of times your ad is being seen by the same person. So sometimes your frequency is gonna say 1.0, that means your ad is seen by everybody that's in that um, at that um, in that reach. They're seeing it one time. Sometimes it will go to 1.5. That means, you know, out of every 100 people, 1.5. Um, or I'm sorry, it means that it's on average being shown 1.5 times to that same amount of people in that in that audience that you're running ads for. Um, and this can get up to like 30 sometimes. And I think it's just interesting to look at because based off your niche, that's like an important data metric to understand that, you know, different niches, um, you know, have different audiences and different audiences need to be reminded about your thing or your product a certain amount of time for them to convert. So some, you know, some industries, you know, one time it, they convert. Sometimes that, that audience needs to see it 10 times and then they convert. So I like to look at frequency and, you know, just to like understand my niche a little bit better. Um, another thing that I like to look at is through plays because I love running video ads. Through plays means the that someone watched your video ad for 15 seconds. So I, I'm sure Facebook has a reason why it's 15 seconds and why this is important. I'm not really sure, but I mean, to get someone to watch 15 seconds of your ad, that's pretty long time in consideration of how much, you know, stuff is popping up on someone's screen throughout the day to get someone to take 15 seconds of your time, that's of their time to look at your ad, that's pretty good amount of time. So I like to see through plays um, if I'm optimizing for video ads, if I'm running video ads, and then I also like to see the cost per through play. If you're running Facebook ads for, um, through plays because this is actually an objective that you can run Facebook ads for. Um, you know, it's relatively cheap to get through plays. So if you're trying to build your pixel or just collect data on the types of people that are watching and engaging with your video, um, a through play is a pretty good metric to look at. Um, so these are basically what I like to look at. Um, you know, you really just want to know what is it costing you? You know, what is your click through rate? What is your your um what is your cost per click um another thing that you could look at that's not here is i think i left out um you'll probably see it in there as well it's something called ctr ctr is your click through rate 
this is not super important because like I said, with every industry, you know, a click through rates vary. So like e-commerce, like I usually shoot for um, e-commerce. I usually shoot for like a 1.5% click through rate. So that means that out of, um, you know, 100 Im impressions that went out, one and a half percent of those people are actually clicking. Other industries, you know, 4% is like the industry standard. Sometimes it's 5%. It just depends. But um, it's, it's not anything to really beat yourself up about if you're still, you know, making money and you're in the positive, but it's just another important metric to look at and it's going to be a percentage. So it's going to reflect this data, this metric is going to reflect itself in a percentage. So, you know, 1.5% or anything over 1% is honestly pretty good for e-commerce. I would say so. Um, but again, different, you know, e-commerce store owners have different opinions about it, but it's just another interesting metric to look at. Um, let's see what else we can look at that you might get mixed up on. Um, let's see. CPM, this is your cost per 1,000 impressions. Um, so I look at that sometimes. I, I like to look at the cost of everything, um, but you pretty much can just still look at your costs um, of your results, right? Because you know, there's no reason to like overfill your columns um, and just have like analysis paralysis. You know, you really only want to fill these columns with the things that are really important, which is how much am I spending? How much am I making? How much does it cost me to make X, Y, Z amount of money? Um, but again, if you're running the ads for different things, come in here, look at these and try to decide what makes sense for what type of ad you're running. And if you hover over any of these, you can see that it also gives you a definition as well. So those are pretty much what I like to look at. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, um, just comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, there's so many new things that are constantly being added to this. I mean, it's just actually insane since, <laughs> since I first started running Facebook ads. I mean, you, there's stuff in here that is just like insane um, that wasn't here when I started. So yeah, I mean, you can go as far as looking at different, like hundred percent, 95% of video plays, just so many different things. Um, but those are really the main ones, the ones that are like just letters like CTR. Let's see what else frequency. Those are the ones like, they're not like really common sense, but all the other ones are pretty common sense. Add to cart checkouts. Um, so yeah, and again, let me know if you guys have any comments or any questions, concerns, just leave them in the comment, comment section.